Mother? I'm not a mother. I don't deserve to be called that word. My life is over. Through. Finny! Mother, come on. Let's be reasonable. Uh, reasonable? You go to hotels with married men, songwriters, and you expect me to be reasonable? I'm glad it's out in the open. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I'm in love with him. Are you out of your mind? Jake's a fine, decent man. He's wonderfully talented and sensitive. He's even Jewish. You listen to me, young woman. This liaison is to cease. Instantly. No. If it weren't for the war, I'd send you to Europe. As it stands, you'll go to Cleveland. Cleveland? To stay with your aunt until a suitable husband can be found for you. Forget it. Where are you going? To a tryst with my lover, of course. Violet, if you leave this house, you do not come back. Oh, Mother, I'm going to my dance class. Do you want me to give up everything? <laughs> yes! Oh, what a lover. What a bear of a man. When I was his mistress, I learned the most important rule of the game. Negotiate. Negotiate what? Take a little step forward. See what he does. Then take another little step. See what he offers. Negotiate. Don't rush on by a go slow. You got what he wants. He must pay for it. I don't want money. <laughs> what a schoolgirl you are, you know so little. The lover pays for everything. I couldn't ask Jake to do that. No, he will offer, I guarantee. Is that how you handle the Tsar? Oh, it is very different with Tsars. Very different. But you don't understand, there are certain problems. There are always problems, but... You must think carefully now. To have an affair is one thing. To be a mistress, that is something else. I'm not sure I want to be a mistress. It's just not me. I can't handle that kind of life. And it would destroy my mother and any love I have for Jake. Then, you must break with him, my child. The sooner, the better. 